any of this. Mike Jones? Yeah, Mike Jones. Oh. He's aged well. The monsters. He, but he hasn't been in, uh, in the sun quite often, Mike Jones. The Beast Squad. Well, the first one's inside of the ring, Monster Mac, with Mike Drastic. You got about the same height, but it's uh, pretty easy to say that the strength and weight advantage is going to the monster. Yeah, and, and Drastic thinks he can take him head on. We've known Mike Drastic for several years, and he thinks he can beat anybody in the world, Whoa. and he's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the toughest. They are chin-checking each other. Oh! oh. When he stayed upright. He said, try again. All right, here we All go. Right, here we go. Ooh. Not wavering, not giving him one quarter. Oh, that was a good old fashioned snuff, Matt. He snuffed my dress. This is not a wrestling match. This is a hood. This is a fight in the hood. These are men from New York City. They are street fighters more than professional wrestlers duck under the clothesline. Oh! The ropes goes back. This is the elbow. And there goes the advantage. See, you got to be able to smart monster if which if it wasn't for the fact that he's a veteran it's pretty easy to do you know what brandon oh double stop off the top rope as angel ortiz and mike drastic right. That's right. and brandon sit down brandon lewis is standing and applauding that really pazuzu is great eyfbo is great there goes a the tag ortiz We're now Specialist here, you know, FBO. Funny you mentioned that we were spe speaking to Steve Mack earlier today, and he called himself the tag team specialist, and he shows faith in his partner Kyle LaBeef by tagging him in right now. Well, you're right. Monster Mac is a tag team specialist himself. He's worked with Low Key. He's worked with Don Math. Uh, you know, so he has the experience. He knows what he's doing, but he's got Kyle LaBeef, who is not a veteran. He's not a tag team experienced man, he's a solo fighter, the advantage is EYFBO. But you've got to admit, there's a reason why Mac picked him. He's got the speed, he's got the size, and he's got the agility shown there with that drop kick. No, no, he picked him because he was the, hold on. He got it one. He picked him as a partner because he was the only one dumb enough to run out there and try to save Steve Scott. Dumb enough or good enough, he's a good man. These are two men who were there for their friend to stop a gang attack. Picked him up, look at the strike! Down he goes! Cal the Beast has no friends. The rubs! And EYFBO and Team Pazuzu aren't looking too good right now, Brandon. And referee Mike Jones getting drafted back to the outside. Ortiz, a little worse for wear. Matt picks him up, suplex drops him down. It was gonna be that easy. No, you know what? It couldn't have been that easy. Nice tag. He tags it. Kyle the Beast kicked to the rib cage. I'm surprised to see Beast working so well as a unit with someone else. It is interesting and listen to this crowd. They are staunchly behind Kyle the Beast. Right hand, those forearms, right to the chin, trying to dislocate the jaw off the ropes. Goes Kyle the Beast. Come on! It comes right back to you, but here comes a jawbreaker, European uppercut, snap air takeover, and a big drop kick, and down goes or See? down goes Kyle the Beast. It's all about finesse. Wow! It's all about finesse, and that's how you do it, baby! And our drastic taking a little too much time there, too. If he would have gone for that pin a little sooner, we might have heard the bell ring. Well, uh oh. He might have awoken the beast. Big headbutt. I'm telling you, there is no one smoother in that ring than Mike Jest or Mike Drastic. The KO, Ortiz threatening children on the outside. How can you condone someone? And look at that. Well, he's a monkey. Don't get too close to the animals. Why would you touch it? Don't touch him. The funky monkey. Oh! Complete lack of respect. And Max not going to take that, but he'll respect the referee. And uh, Mike Jones has got to get some order. And look at that, digging into the eye. Should know better. Max should know better than to step in the ring. He's just causing more trouble by distracting the ref. The referee out of position. EYFBO firmly in control. Irish rip rehearsal into the corner. Fifty pull. So smooth. So smooth. He's like butter, baby. I love it. Mike Drastic is one of the most.
most talented men in professional wrestling, him and Angel Ortiz, can be considered one of the top five tag teams on the planet, and they're showing it there. I do not like their tactics, but they work amazingly. See, amazing see what is Mac doing right now? Mac needs to get out of the ring. Mac is just doing more damage to himself. And there's a time when emotion takes over, Brandon. You know that better than anyone. Kick out of two. Yeah, but he's a veteran though. What's he been doing this? 12 years, 15 years, 20 years? I don't even, I can't even keep count anymore. Well, you know what, Brandon? I'll put you on the spot then as a man who knows his way inside and outside of that ring. If you were managing Kyle the Beast and Steve Mack, what would you do? Tag in or tease the legal man right hand? I'd toss in the white towel because they have no chance. I, w I wouldn't say that. I think, <laughs> I think you're taking this situation a little too lightly and your own bias, I might add. Look, look. First of all, I think, I think, personal opinion, Mac tagged in Kyle the Beast way too early. And now he has the least experienced tag team guy in there, and he's being taken advantage of. He's being exploited. He showed confidence in his partner to know that he can handle this situation. He wanted to prove that he no, was a teammate. I understood that. He took a chance, but the chance didn't go the right way. And if you want victory, you got to take smart chances. And look at this, completely disgusting, the lack of respect. in Brooklyn, I'll sell you the kick out there by Kyle the Beast. How much? You know what a, you know what a rhetorical question is? I know that this is a great match, and there goes a tag by Mike Drastic. He's in there. See, this is how you do tag team work. You know what? They remind me of a tag team. They remind me of the Midnight Express. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, DDT. No, bro, double suplex. Get the kill. And listen to this crowd go crazy. That was intense. That has to make a tag. He's got to make that tag. And listen to this crowd get hyped. They're trying to will Kyle the Beast to make it to that corner. Look, that, that's awesome. That's great. But if he doesn't make a tag, it's nothing. Getting near the corner of three counted six. Here comes Steve Mack. The Mack truck going to work right up. Forearms, elbows. Throwing everything but the kitchen sink. Ortiz, Irish whip off the ropes. Express. I see Arn Anderson and Cully Blanchard quality in both of these men. Great singularly, but collectively it's something special. They go to the top rope. Oh, a superplex here. And Max still on the outside. My goodness! The ring move, Brandon! The ring move! Yeah, dude, I thought they were going to break that thing. Could be all. See it, it 
It's all legal. has got to be the most dangerous division in JCW. We've seen chairs used in the first match. We've seen another disqualification in the second. Now we've got the referee tossed out of the ring. And you know what? I like it. I'm really digging it. Now look at this. You're digging it. You, you like this. You I enjoy do. this. What is You're wrong? You're damn right I do. Oh, come 